Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a short video showing you my Canadian tokens from pre-confederation. Uh, they're all the old Canadian bank tokens from Upper and Lower Canada around the mid and early 1800s. So there is the Canadian bank token Halfpenny from 1844. This is before the Royal Canadian Mint minted their normal pennies and currency. And there's another half penny from 1850. There's a 1837 hold penny from the lower can, I do believe. There's another one, and then there's two more down there. All 1837. And up here is the Nova Scotia version from 1843. It's got the thistle on the front. Most of these are in really worn condition, as I got them pretty cheap. Okay, there's the classical Upper Canada token, where you can see King George, I do believe, on the horse, slaying the dragon. That's 1850. So I have, like, ten of those varying dates. And then I've got a 1812 Nova Scotia token and an Unsu, which actually has no date on it. Okay, then on this next page here, we continue with the, the well, there's the back sides of the bank tokens. And over here are the different ones. We have a Canadian ships and colonies with a huge hole in the top. Um, the other side of it is a boat. Right there. Uh, 1854 Upper Canada token. That's my best condition token. It's an F12. And here's a weird one with a beef on the front. I don't know anything about it. If you do, please comment on this video. Okay, and then these tokens here are actually not from Canada. Uh, some from the US. Um, some slavery tokens. So. That's a 1760 Voss Pupili token. It's worth $150. It's in VG8 F12 even condition. There's a 1795 slavery token. That's pretty cool. And there's a 1797 Iron Master token. And there's 1833 Roman Firmness with the donkey on the front token. And lastly is a 1791 Iron Master token. And that is pretty much my token collection. If you have any questions on the tokens, or if you'd like to tell me something, please comment on this video. And to see more of my coin collection, please subscribe and rate. Thank you.